I've had to work on my kills for my homuru, but I think I finally got enough kills. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave this infinite here and go back to the lobby and see if I can finally evolve my own Madoka Magica unit. Uh, I don't even know if that's how you say it, right? Madoka Magica? I don't even know, but uh, yeah, let's go back to the lobby. So of course, like every other unit this update, you had to do quite a bit to evolve your unit. So looking at our homuru, we needed 10 more kills. Are you kidding me? Well, I'm gonna go get those 10 kills, but look at what I got for her, guys. I got my first SSS stat on a secret unit, which is super exciting, but um, I gotta get 10 more kills. So I'll just be right the heck in just a second here. Well, we're back, and I definitely, definitely got 10, I think. I really hope I got 10 kills. Oh, we got zero gems. We take a look at her. Homuru, and she's at 5,007 kills, yay! Okay, cool, so like I said, I got an SSS stat on my Homuru, and you're not gonna believe this, guys. Look, reroll potential, select Homuru, and I literally got SSS range, so that is absolutely amazing. The other two kinda aren't that good, but let's go ahead and evolve our Homuru. Guys, like I said, in order to Evo her, you need 5,000 kills, and then you're gonna need the new Evo item. I actually don't know which item I need. I thought it was a Scarlet one, so I was wrong. And let's see, go here, select Homuru. Uh, wait, Homuru, select, there you go, evolve. And I need the Violet Soul Gen. She gets plus 50% attack, time stop, huh? Time stop, huh? Final, what? Wait, huh? Wait, which city portals open? I need the violet one. So this is it right here. Make sure it's the right one. Violet, bye. There we go. We got ourselves the violet soul gems. That's pretty good. And now we're gonna go back here in Evolver. She's doing 4,999, 4.9 seconds with 16.6 range. And now we select Homuru, Evolve. And now we get Homuru, the time tra- Yo, that's sick. The little time traveling things on her, like, like outside of her. What? Why does that look like that? That's kind of cool. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, yeah, this unit's looking pretty sick. Not gonna lie. But uh, yeah, she has a depth on her. Let's see if my stats went up. Hold on. I think 11% is like perfect on her, so I can't go up more from 11. But yeah, 11% is the highest. I got a B plus on this right here. Let's reroll that. It's okay, it's okay, I'm not mad. Let's go ahead and equip her. She does 7,850 damage every 4.9 seconds with 16.6 range. Now it's not a video without a Toad Boy pays reroll segment. So my God, I hate this passive so much. It could have been unique. But no, I'm gonna keep rolling. I have 60 something passes and I have a feeling that she's gonna be an absolute monster with unique so let's keep going please calling superior adept range two and adept all right oh god all right Ade oh good adept again that's exactly what i was looking for oh gain thank you range one uh I, I, am i really just gonna oh my god this passive haunts me i'm telling you guys that passive right there is gonna be the bane of my existence superior one nimble one nimble nimble range three Please gain, come on. Give me that really good, you know, uh, unique passive. Cause we do know she's a three placement unit. So we do want unique for her. Range one, superiors, nimbles, range, adept, adept. Yep, superior, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep, not unique, but that's okay. We're gonna get unique on the last one. 50 more rolls is all I'm gonna do because I actually can't do any more. But here it is, range, culling, adept. I'm just gonna go really fast for this set. Did you guys see that? Did I just get like five adepts in a row? What? That was crazy. And I even went fast too to try to avoid that issue. But, oh my, like adept is like a 10% chance and I, I can't get rid of it. It's a curse, I guess. I've got the Adept Curse. Godspeed. Oh, it's such a good task, but I know I want Unique on this unit here. And if I don't get Unique on these rolls, it is fine. We're going to go see what she looks like on this showcase without Unique. Let's see. Sathir, Sathir, Nimble, Nimble, Range. Oh my god. Oh my god. So huh? What is wrong with the Adept passive, guys? Sathir 2. And, well, Sathir 1. I guess that's where we're going to end it right there. <laughs> 
don't, don't do it. Don't do it, dude. Don't do it. All right, this is the last 10. You see, I'm actually out of Roblox after this one, so I literally cannot do any more. So yeah, let's let's get unique on these last 10 rolls. Adapt, superior, superior. Yep, adapt, that's... Oh! 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 Hold on, can you guys do that reaction again so everyone can hear it? Oh my god! Oh, oh my goodness. Oh! It, 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 it worked! I just feel getting six of death. Wait, was that the last roll? I had like three left. I had no more <laughs> rolls. W. <laughs> I'm speechless. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> that dab, the man. game actually decided that it felt pity for me for the <laughs> Usult. I think I spent close to 2,000 rolls on Usult in total, guys. I'm not even kidding. But uh, uh, yeah, Homeru Time Travel Unique. I, I don't even have to click make the title at this point. <laughs> let's go hit play and let's check out what Homeru does with Unique. I get, I, I'm sorry, guys. I'm actually speechless right now. Hold on. Um, unequip. Let's go ahead and equip uh, Homeru and let's equip Kisuke and we'll actually use Kisuke this time because I forgot to do that. But let's go into this and we'll see how OP our unique Homeru is. Oh my god. Um, 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 um. Um, 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 yeah. All right, all right. I, I, I don't even. I, yeah. I'm really happy because, as you guys saw, it took 110 rerolls, which is still a lot of money, guys. Do not do this. It's bad. Some would even call it an addiction. The unique Homuru is here, and oh my gosh, I'm so excited to see what she. Time stop. Huh? She already gets an ability on placement. Hold on, I gotta place like my my farms down, make sure I get my upgrades. There we go. 31,000 damage on placement every 4.4 seconds with 19 range. Now she has an ability called Time Stop already, which is really interesting because I kind of want to pop that and see just how long it takes. Uh, is it really like a Gojo Time Stop or is it within her range that she's gonna Time Stop? Let's just use it. Okay, so it's units within her range that get time stopped. I, uh, that's really interesting. But I'm gonna go ahead and focus on our money here and we'll be back once we can uh, upgrade her to her max potential, I guess. Let's see, it looks like it's gonna be about a minute cooldown, which is quite insane. But uh, yeah, time let's go. All right, we got enough money here. I used her cooldown right here, and it's 42 seconds for me to get this time stop ability. So if I give her like an SPA cooldown, I can even lower that further. So like say I get like 5%, so let's see, 10% four seconds, so that's fine, two seconds, a 40 second cooldown. But let's go ahead and start upgrading here. First upgrade, 15, 20. Second, oh, plus one second time stop. So her time stop, is interesting. It's not what I thought it was. Here's instantaneous blast, which we've already seen. Upgrade again and again. Uh, let's see. And again. Okay, one second time stop in autumn. Uh, what was? Was I not paying attention or something? I definitely need to decrease her SPA because what is going on with this like SPA thing here? 17 second SPA, but her range is 36. So now she's actually pretty viable with her time stop thing, I feel like. But. So I'm gonna upgrade her again. Oh! She time stops every attack and she's full AoE. Yeah, is she hydrid? She's Hydra too. <laughs> oh my God. Wait, why did it only hit the people on this side though? That was weird. Upgrade again and oh my God. 1.8 million damage with 39 range. She's not full AOE though. Her Only her time stops full AOE. So I'm, I'm not sure how her attack actually works, 
It looks like there's some sort of like cone or something that she hits, or maybe it's a circle, but let's see, circle is, yeah. So it's like a circle area of attack right here, guys. Probably like a nine or a seven, but her full AOE is gonna make her absolutely insane. We give her a Keyscade buff, for example. Now her range is up to 46. Every 14 seconds, she's time stopping. And then you give her an SPA curse. Reduce her range, honestly, because I got SSS range on her. Reduce her range, reduce her SPA. With 1.8 million damage, this unit's insane. This is a must bring Netta support unit for infinite runs, I feel like. I, I don't know, guys, this is insane. I'm gonna have to test her out a little bit more in the future because I can't say exactly how her situ like how she is gonna work, but we did it. We got her unique, and look at this. Yeah. That's absurd, guys. Let me know what you think of this. Uh, that's the end of this. I'm gonna go to sleep because I'm very tired now. But I hope you guys like this. We're so close to 100,000 subscribers and I cannot appreciate you guys enough. Um, yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys later. I'm gonna go to sleep now. Reese's thesis, bye!